Well, it took long enough, but here we are. Finally, Half-Life. I have beaten this game, I think, twice already. I played it way back in, like, 2012 or something like that. Um, and even then, you know, God, Half-Life came out in, what, 98, I think, or 96? So, this game is well beyond 20 years old. So I figured it was about time to get it on the channel. So let's hop into it. New game. Uh, we're going to skip the training room. We'll go to medium. And we'll play. Good morning and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees, with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. This train is inbound from level three dormitories to Sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond Sector C, you will need to return to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9 and board a high security train. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. Due to the high toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. There's just as much exposition as I remember there being. The first couple of minutes of the game, actually the first good, the first 15 minutes of the game, if I remember correctly, are all pretty much just story. All, all up until the resonance cascade happens. I, I'm playing this for nostalgia's sake, personally, but I'm also playing it in hopes that um, Seth will give it a watch because he's never played this game. This evening at 1900 hours in the level 3 facility. The semi finals for high school will be announced in a separate secure access transmission. Remember, more lives than your own may depend on your anomalous, low, ugh, anomalous materials, level, level 3. The administrative sponsor is classified. Black Mesa team. Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with the background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruiting team. Black Mesa Research Facility is an equal opportunity in A reminder to all Black Mesa personnel. Regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation check. It's the G-Man. Grounds for immediate termination. 
If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of He's the one behind all this that bastard safety officer immediately. Work safe. Work smart. Spoiler alert. Hey, we're finally here. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. Good morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. Now this is me holding the shift button. This is me not holding the shift button. You are fast as fuck in this game. So this is Barney, I think. Anywho, we can finally go to work. Anomalous materials. That's what we're going to be dealing with. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Okay, so it should go without saying that... This is all within theoretical limits. What you're seeing, this is actually a cleaned up HD version of Half-Life. This is way better than it actually looked. Like, you couldn't even tell that they had, you know, fingers in the original. They were all just, like, giant, like sections, you know, like th this is like an HD version of the original that came out in like 98. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? That late, huh? Can I push this button? My god, hey, what are you doing? Come on, Gordon. You trying to get me into trouble? <laughs> yeah, you can still do that. I can't be bothered right now. Please leave me alone until after the experiment. Okay. So anyways, I am rather looking forward to this analogy. Anywho, let's keep going. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Please, leave me alone until after the experiment. Alright. Wouldn't it be fantastic to get some pure readings for a change? So everyone's pretty... pretty uh, anxious. Oh, there's the G-Man again. I think he's uh, just ensuring that everything goes down without a hitch. Which is ironic given what happens. Anyways. Um, I think I need to get my hazard suit. And I'm fairly certain that's in the other direction. So let's go ahead and grab it. No more dilly-dallying and looking around. Are you... Hello. 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 All right, all right, all right. Ah, it's good to see you. I must remember to report that fluctuation. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? My God, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, anywho. Let's go in here. Okay, there we go. Dr. Coomer! Everyone's favorite doctor is Dr. Coomer. Why 
Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Greetings. All right. Time to get to my hazard suit. Gosh, you move so fast if you're not holding shift. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV Protective System for use That's in hazardous environment conditions. High impact reactive armor activated. Atmospheric contaminant sensors activated. Vital sign monitoring activated. Automatic medical systems engaged. Defensive weapon selection yeah. system this all looks activated. Munition level monitoring activated. Communications interface Greetings. online. Have a very safe day. Go well, right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. All right, so we've got our suit. Nothing that will definitely keep us alive throughout most of the game. Despite it not having a helmet. <laughs> hmm. Alright. I gotta get used to the controls, because this game does not handle like most of your modern day games. Especially a shooter. Oh, I also need to check one thing. Let me go to hotkeys real quick. Which one of these is quick save? Here we go. Quick save is F6 and quick load is F9. Uh, or F5 or F7. Well, that's just destined to make me fuck up. So let's change that to... Let's see. We'll do... Uh, quick save can be... 1. Quick load can be... 2. <laughs> there. We are playing on normal, so this will be a moderate challenge. This game wasn't easy. It wasn't terribly hard, but it wasn't an easy game either. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Yeah, that's what everybody else is saying. Hello there. Can we do this later? Sure. About that beer I owe you. Ah, hello, Gordon. Ah, Freeman. Gordon. It's good to Here see you. you are. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105 percent. Bit of a gamble, but we need the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some lengths to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. That's where it all happens. Have you seen my call? Yeah. Seen my it's all normal for now. Fun's about to begin. 20 minutes later, but, you know. This is actually a really interesting story if you ever, like, read up on it. The whole Resonance Cascade thing and what Black Mace is doing. It's very interesting stuff. from standard analysis procedures today, Gordon. Yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And, potentially, the most unstable. Now, now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that, although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Ah, yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. 
Well, there's your first mistake. And again, it's not my fault that everything goes to shit, so. Testing? Testing? <coughs> everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon, your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. So they're in there. Give me the specimen and I will. Capacitors to one oh five percent. Uh it's probably not a problem. Probably, but I'm showing a small discrepancy in well, no, it's well within acceptable bounds again. Sustaining sequence. I've just been informed that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you anyway. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Ready? I'm guessing they are. They aren't saying anything. Standard insertion for a non-standard specimen. Go ahead, Gordon. Slot the carrier into the analysis port. The Vortigaunts. Let's see the consequences. Alright, so yeah, everything went to shit and now we have to deal with it. In the next episode. Thanks for watching.